Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give our praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushat, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, Great Millstone, also known as GMS. Salutations to the Most High's men and four corners of the earth, pushing this word of sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushat. This GMS, Mississippi, with a topic going into they hate when you speak uprightly. You know, because as you walk, in integrity, as you walk in pursuance of righteousness, you're a light in a very, very dark room. And a dark room is this world. And when you speak on positivity, when you speak upon righteous things, when you speak upon things that are of the will of, and as it is written, thus saith the Lord, those that are living in darkness, they, they despise that marvelous light. You can get that in the book of Amos. Just the book of Amos, chapter five, verse 10. They hate him that rebuke, rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. That's right. Now give me that, that word abhor. The scripture says that they hated he that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Because you look at rebuke, rebuke is only correction. No, rebuke isn't lashings, it's not thrashings, it's not condemnation. It's just simply saying the Lord is requiring us to do this, but you're doing that. Now, I can say that because I'm not being a hypocrite, right? If I'm saying something is the wrong way to go or, or the wrong way to do it or the wrong way to go about it, that's because I am not going that particular way. But if I go that particular way as you are going, then now something's wrong with me and I can't be a hypocrite to speak against that, you know? But the scripture says to let the most high be true and every man a liar, right? Because man look at everything that he does and sees as being right. The scripture says that every ways of man is right in his own eyes, right? And that's why the scripture says that the heart is utterly uh, 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 wicked because it's deceit. You know that precept? You got abhor. All right, you bring it up. This is the definition for abhor. It says to regard with horror or loathing, detest. They detest us, yeah. you know? They detest you when you speak up rightly. They abhor you. They look at you with disdain, you know? It's something ugh, like they stop. Ugh. As though you're something nasty or disgusting, you're the plague. But that's only because that light, because that light, you know, as it's written in the Gospels, who take up the light and hide it underneath the bushel, you know, or place it underneath the bed. That's not where it belongs. It, 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 the, the, the light is synonymous to the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, and it's not meant to be tucked away anywhere, right? Because as we walk through the entire planet Earth, our, our, our light, is shown unto those around us, right? And if the, the spirit jumps upon a particular person to uh, for you to say something to, the scripture says that they hated the that, that rebuketh in the gate and abhorred to speak it up rightly, but mostly here out on the highways and hedges because the prophets are a nuisance unto those that are without. Yes, more. <clears throat> I bring that one. Okay. This is John 3 and 19. This is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light. And they love darkness rather than light, right? So they detest you because you walk in, you, you, you're that person who's who's always turning on the light switch and somebody who hates the lights being on in the house, mm -hmm. right? Like, I mean, I let this jump and move in with me, make you turn these god dog on lights on because he loves to, to abide and, 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 and complete in utter darkness. But you're like, man, I always need to vibrate up the place, man. Right. You know, turn some lights right. on in here, spray, spray a little smell good, man. You know, you, you don't want nobody to see this filth. That's why you want these lights off all the time, because you're undisciplined. Mm -hmm. So let's turn these lights on so we can actually see see what the conditions are, and then we can correct it. Now we can clean it up. We can fix it. Good. That Greek word for light is force, and it says of truth and its knowledge together with the spiritual purity associated with it. The spiritual purities, man, right? That's why that the Heavenly Father's elect are blameless. Mm -hmm. They are... Uh, 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 they shall be clothed in white, meaning what? Pure. That's right. Going into exactly what you just said. That's right. Because that spiritual uh, 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 pureness is what the Heavenly Father is well pleased in. But he that, 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 that despises righteousness, the Heavenly Father hated. You got one for you? Go ahead. Just the book of John, chapter 8, starting at verse 31. Then, Yah then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then ye are then 
are ye my disciples indeed indeed why is that because he says what he says my sheep hear my voice and they follow me mm -hmm. man Go ahead. and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free and even though in bondage right even though in captivity even though held here in the in, in, in the house of bondage which is synonymous to egypt right we know the truth and the truth has liberated us because understanding and unlocking the, the, the chains or the doors of your mind, it brings you down a hallway that's channeled to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, right? Because people look at it like, what are you saying? You know, what, you know, what is that? The same time that you say God and you say Jesus or you say Christ, right? Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. He's the G-O-D. He's the Most High. Yahweh Shah is his own begotten son whom the world called Jesus in. Helvah and Jehovah Jireh, things of that nature, man. But you got a Hebrew men with Hebrew titles, with Hebrew names, so to speak. But they have Greek titles here in today's time, right? And that's a little re rebuke because that's only correction. Because people want to claim to be of the Most High, be of and be of God, be of God, but you don't even worship Him in sincerity and in truth. Right. You don't even worship Him in, 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 in a, a simple knowledge and understanding. Right? Because if the Lord sprang out of the tribe of Judah, right? Judah is a Hebrew tribe. So he should have a Hebrew name. Why would he have a Greek title? Right. Right? Bring your piece of Alright, boy. Hey, this is uh, Matthew 5 and 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you right. and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. For, for his name's sake, right? Mm -hmm. Because we do well. We glorify him. We uplift him. We tell you his true name. Yep. We tell you his true visage, meaning his appearance. That's right. But people say, okay, what does it matter? Mm -hmm. Jesus is <laughs> what say? Jesus is the only name I know. Yeah, Jesus is the only or they talk about the color. They'll the color say the color don't matter. Yeah. But that's their rebuke that they hate and they despise, man. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. Why? For, for great is your reward in heaven. For well, great is your reward in heaven. And that's what we're looking forward to, man. Hey, because when you look at the, 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 the estate of the men and the prophets that were before us, they were destitute. They were always fleeing. They were always hated. They were always running from death. Why? Because they re hated him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhorred them that speaketh of rightly. Since you said that. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. So persecuted they the prophets that were before you, right? And, and the Lord said what? He told uh, 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 told those that follow him that they verily well indeed shall have to drink of that cup, that, that, that cup of hatred, not because of your individual self, but because of he that you, that you love, which is the heavenly father and his only begotten son. That's where the true hatred comes into play. Now, as the heavenly father has stated uh, in the scriptures, that wisdom making the man's face to shine, that light that you naturally possess when you're in the spirit, the world, they see it, but they can't understand it. They can't fathom it. And they don't really truly even understand why, why they don't like you, why they don't really have a, a taking towards your particular being, right? It's, it's those particular, uh, you always call it the, the antagonist and the, and the protagonist, man. Those two oppositions, those opposing factors that that, that that they have no idea that they are are having an invisible resistance, right? You got some more? Good. Yeah, yo, go ahead. In Second Chronicles thirty six verse sixteen, but they mock the messengers of Yahweh by Shem and despise his words and misuse his prophets, and they abuse him, right? They talk about you, they ridicule you, you know. They like even you sisters out there, the the the. The good works that you do and you commit, right? Like hold hardly for the purpose of, of salvation. Like you're despised by the whores of this world. You're despised by the so-called women, women in your community, the women in your schools, and your colleges, the women on your job, and the women in your family. Because now, wow, well, I ain't no slave to no man, or, or you, or you too weak, you too soft, just because you're feminine, right? You can leave them masculine dirt bags where they are, man, right? There's absolutely nothing wrong with being a feminine, virtue, a virtuous woman. The scripture says what? If somebody can look it up and find it in the Apocrypha, it says that a, a, a whorish woman despises a uh, virtuous woman. Uh, 
because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it because the same way, you know, and a lot of times we forget that as well, that as a nation of people, we were cursed. We focus more so upon the man because we get it the worst. But you women, y'all through too. Yeah. Like y'all are suffering from these curses that are written in the book of Deuteronomy, man. Like y'all really have mental plagues of the heart and of the mind the same as men do, just on, on different levels. You know, but, but, but the time is going to come to where the Heavenly Father is going to reverse those particular roles and those thought patterns and those sentiments. And we shall once again be, 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 be brought into unison with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. I got one what I'm looking for. All right, go ahead. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, starting at verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High. To them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be confirmed, conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate them, he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. So as it is written. If the Most High be with you, who can it be against you? That's if the Most High be for you, who can be against you? Because yeah. because those that He called, He justified, man. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? There is absolutely nothing, no wrong that they can do in the eyes of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. No matter how many times they go across the street and trip and fall, no matter how many times they get themselves back up, make it two blocks down, like y'all and I fell again. Mm -hmm. They've done absolutely no wrong because they're justified in the eyes of the heavens up above, man. That's right. Verse thirty-one. What shall we say then to these things? What you just said a second ago. If the most high be for us, who can be against us? Yep, and that's it. And that's through the spirit, man. This uh second Ezra 16, verse 49. Like as a whore envy a right, honest, and virtuous that's woman. That's it. You know, just like a whore envy a right and vir honest and virtuous woman, yeah. man. Right? Like y'all never really even sit down and consider that particular factor right there. The same way Jake. Jake men be hating on Jake men because of because of the the the, the facade or the appearance of, 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 of authority that they don't have. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That particular uh, uh, status of society that they don't have. How they carry themselves. How they carry themselves that they principles, don't have. Yeah. Principles and disciplines. Yeah. And then we always of course it's, it's material things, mm -hmm. you know, but the but the, the invisible things, Jake despised it as well. They really hate that the most. They really hate that the most. That's why they said something about that nigga. Yeah, they made yeah. something about that nigga on life. Yeah. You know? Right. But but it goes the same way hey, for you sisters out there too, man. Right. You know? Because the versus woman, she has like morals. You know? yep. And a whore doesn't have any standards. That's right. right. You know? A, a versus woman is in order, but a whore is out of order. Out of order, you know? Hey, to, for a woman to be covered up and to, to speak unto a young girl or someone of her own age that they may be going out and showing her body and simply say, hey, hey, why are you wearing that? Right, like, right. Why you have that on? And to get an a, a abrupt response about it. Mm -hmm. That's that particular uh, uh, abhorring mm -hmm. of, of when someone speaks up rightly. Uh -huh. You know, because at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father has judgment prepared for those that do His will and for those that do it not, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. you think about, oh, notice you think about Judith, you know, she was known for her integrity, you know. That's right. She didn't want to marry, you know, uh, stain her husband's, you know, his honor, his, his name, yeah. you know. So she, just imagine how the scriptures talk about how beautiful she was and she could stop uh, men from going to war, you know. So just imagine how many Jason trying to holler at her, you know. But she she wanted to maintain her integrity, you know. And this is, a, uh, this is another account of how they hate the prophet. Uh, this is First Kings uh, 22 and verse 1. And they continued three years without war between Syria and Israel. And it came to pass in the third year that Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, came down to the king of Israel. Verse 3, And the king of Israel said unto his servants, Know ye that Ramoth and Gilead is ours, and we be still, and take it not out of the hand of the king of Syria. Verse 4, And he said unto, Je unto Jehoshaphat, Wilt thou go with me to battle to Ramoth Gilead? And Jehoshaphat said to the king of Israel, I am as thou art, my people as thy people, my horses as thy horses. Verse 5. And Jehoshaphat said unto the king of Israel, Inquire 
I pray thee at the word of the Lord Yahweh today. Verse 6, and this is the point. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, about 400 men, and said unto them, Shall I go against Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? And they said, Go up, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. And Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord Yahweh? Besides, that we might inquire of him. Verse 8. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man, Micah, the son, the son of Imlah, by whom we may inquire of the Lord Yahweh. But I hate him, for he do not prophesy good concerning me, but evil. Evil, and Jehoshaphat said, Let not the king say so. Yeah, and why? Because his actions were not in, in, in a fashion for, for praise and glory. That's right. They were in a fashion of being committed in, 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 in a way of, cor of, of correction needed. Mm -hmm. right? right? And just because the correction was needed, don't hate the, uh, the particular messenger. That's right. Like, you don't hate the, 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 the behavior or the, 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 the form of conduct in which you are carrying yourself. Mm -hmm. Because there's nothing, it's absolutely nothing wrong with the particular correction, but what's wrong is how you take it. Mm -hmm. Right, because all things that are nurturing for the spirit are 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 things that should be consumed. Man. Mm -hmm. And so, with that, Mosiah, will you edify? Till next time, say shalom. shalom. shalom.